The city of Dallas says the Margaret McDermott Bridge is safe despite the pedestrian and bicycle lanes remaining closed to the public. The pedestrian portions of the bridge were supposed to open eight months ago. But recent documents reveal there was a fractured cable rod and the engineer would not accept the project as built. It's information the public has never been told about in Fox 4's Lori Brown, live at the I-30 bridge with more on this story. Lori. Steve, just yesterday, TxDOT warned the city in a letter that the, the flawed structure on the cable adjustment rod was a design issue and the city's responsibility. Today, the city says there are only a few minor adjustments to be made before the bridge can be open to pedestrians. From Sky 4, you can see the pedestrian and bicycle lanes on the Margaret McDermott Bridge that remain off limits eight months after the original completion date. Turns out cables on the bridge have broken. Yeah, but about three that came unattached from the rod, but it isn't a structural issue. Sarah Standifer oversees the project for the city. Think of a swing set and it just came unattached and so it swings a little bit and they're tied back down and reattached and dampeners were added to stop the vibration. But neither city council members nor the public were told about the problem. So do you feel like you've been kept in the dark about this? Um, I, I do, but this is also, this is a legacy issue. Uh, this issue started with the previous management. And so we've got a new city manager who's committed to transparency. And I have a lot of confidence he's going to address the lack of transparency around this issue. A January 11th letter from the city to TxDOT says the engineer was working with TxDOT and the city to reach a solution that ensures the safety and stability of the completed structure. The letter says the famed architecture firm Santiago Calatrava LLC had concerns about the cable anchorage fatigue vulnerability. The letter says the engineer will not accept the project as built. The city wants the TxDOT contractor to stay on the job. And if we cross a certain date, to keep the contractor around is a million dollars a month, and that could actually cost much more than the, the repairs. Wow. And that's completely avoidable. Since this problem started in uh, 2016, it looks like about March of 2016. Since the January 11th letter, the city says they've come up with solutions. What they are looking at now is the long-term maintenance life and how that works. But our engineer of record has said the bridge is safe. And once the contractors completed their punch list items, it can be opened for the general public. They still have to do painting and add lighting to the bridge, and there is no set timeline for those things to happen. But the city hopes it will be soon.